for Java experience. This is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. As per high demand from many people, I am commencing the Java discussion from scratch. Let's discuss about Java applets in this video today. When a HTML page wants to communicate with the user on internet, it can use a special Java program called applet to communicate and respond to the user. The user can interact by typing some details or by clicking the components available in the applet program. The program then process and display the result. Applet is a special type of program that is embedded in the web page to generate the dynamic contents. It runs inside the browser and work at client side. So what are the advantages of applets? Applets can show images and animations. Play sound takes user inputs and send it to the server etc. Applet cannot interact and spoil the resource of the client system and hence they are harmless. Applets takes less response time because it works on client side. It is secure. It can be executed by browser running under many platforms including Linux, Windows, Mac, OS etc. What are the drawbacks of applets? Plugin is required at client browser to execute applets. Applet class extends panels. Panel class extends container which is the subclass of component. Here in this picture you can see about applets. Applet class extends panel. Panel class extends container which is the subclass of component. So this is the hierarchy. So what is the life cycle of Java applets? To create an applet, we need to write a Java program and compile it to get bytecode. Then we should embed or include it into a HTML page on a particular location wherever we want it to be displayed. This page is then stored in the web server. A client machine communicate with the web server. The server then send the HTML page that contains the applets. The page is then transmitted to the client where the applet is executed on the client's web browser. Thus, applets are executed at client side by the web browser. Thus, applet travels thousands of kilometers of distance on internet and reach the client machine before their execution on the client. There are four methods in the applet class of java.applet package or java applet class of javax.swing package gives you the framework on which you build an applet. These methods are automatically run by any applet program. First method is public void init. This method is first method to be called by the browser and it is executed only once. So the programmer can use this method to initialize any variable creating components and creating threads etc. When this method execution is completed, browser looks for the next method that is start method. So next is public void start method. This method is called after int method and each time the applet is revisited by the user. If user has minimized the web page that contains the applets and moved to the another page, then this method execution is stopped. When the user comes back to view the web page again, start method execution will resume. Any calculation or data processing should be done in this method and the result are also displayed. Third method is public void stop. This method is called by the browser when the applet is to be stopped. If user minimize the web page, then this method is called. And the another one is public void destroy. This method is called when the applet is being terminated from the memory. The stop method will always be called before destroy. Please note that the public static void mean string args method is not available in case of applets. This means we can compile the applet code but we cannot run it using a JVM. Once the applet is created, we compile and obtain its bytecode. This bytecode is embedded in HTML page and the page is sent to the client computer. The client machine contains a browser like IE, Firefox, Chrome etc. where the HTML page is viewed by the user. The same browser will execute the applet of the HTML page. The browser contains a small virtual machine called applet engine which understand and run the applet code.
So this is the life cycle of applets. So what are the uses of applets? Applets are used on internet for creating dynamic web pages. Applets are used for creating animation and games. But nowadays, most of the websites on internet are dependent on other softwares like Photoshop, Flash, Dreamware, etc. for creating, editing and providing animations to the images. For validating the form data, scripting languages like JavaScript and PHP are better. Hence, the use of applets are reducing rapidly. So this is all about applets. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in an easy way. You can send me an email for any query to my email id go for elearning at gmail.com. Thank you.